Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Queen Kimmy from Kimmy underscore Queen of Crafts. And I'm here with an unboxing from the Flossom Crafter. So I have two boxes here and there's a reason why. But before we get into that, how's everybody doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. I won't complain. I, I'm going to send that your way and say I hope you're doing the same as well. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for coming back to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Sorry, couldn't see my hand. And so the reason, okay, so the Flossom Crafter, she has an Etsy shop. And basically what she does is, what she does is she creates, uh, well, she does actually have diamond paint because I saw one on there I was thinking about getting. And then, um... <clears throat> excuse me the what she does is she has storage to be able to organize your drills you know how whenever you get a kit it comes with a lot of extra drills and some people keep them some people don't like I know crafting with Shay she said she only keeps her AB drills although I think she'll be keeping more now because she recently said she ran out of a drill on a canvas luckily her best friend is Randy, or you can call me Butter on YouTube. And she usually has a lot of drills because she does a thing called bling the damn thing. Um, but yes, so some people just save the ABs. Some people just start, save the squares. Some people just save the rounds. And so my question was always, well, when they saved them, where were they putting them? You guys, let me show you my shitty. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Shitty storage system so you see this blue bag here I got them stuffed in here so it's inside of this craftably bag is one and then I got some singles sitting right here like guys they're literally just shoved down into this bag that's the best way I can put it I don't have an actual system or setup I just get done shove them in here and so now I have a way to actually organize them out so let me show you so what I first thought what I first thought what I first bought were these and these are these are the the different colors of the drills let me get my scissors so I can cut the thing off so I can show them to you <clears throat> excuse me y'all isn't it funny like if you're a crafter not just a diamond painter but if you're a crafter sorry y'all my, my six-year-old keeps coming in and out and she keeps opening and closing the door so I think she'll be out for a while she just grabbed the tablet okay so here we go I got my scissors y'all so and these are supposed to coincide with okay so um, diamond painting came about with at least the color usage from cross stitching so that's where the color numbers and codes come from so if you look, it starts with Ecru, which is an off-white, and then a white, and then if you start looking down here, oops, hold on. So look, so these here, you start with 150, which is usually the first color because with Diamond Art Club, any color under 150, they use as an AB. And then other companies, they'll put AB at the end, but they might include the DMC number. So they'll put, put like AB 310, which everybody knows 310 is black. But yes, here are the different color dividers that you use on here. This is so interesting. I never knew there were so many 100s because you rarely get many 100s. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, you rarely get any colors that are 100 so this was the first thing I got and so I'm gonna say before you buy make sure you read what you're getting and the reason why I say that is that I read it but I misinterpreted it and I'll tell you how so yes so I got two packs of these 
with the different colors and it has the color swatched on there too that'll help you so let me put these back in here for the sake of this video and we'll pull them back out so when i read the description i thought i was also getting a storage case with it because when i ordered it it said um it automatically if you get the box it automatically comes with those so I thought it was saying that ordering those would come with the box but I didn't realize I had to order the box to get those dividers that separate the colors so <coughs> excuse me here we go hold on <sighs> So I have two boxes. Oh, and these boxes are gorgeous. Hold on, I'm just taking off the bubble wrap, y'all. Y'all, how's y'all doing today? Because I'm doing just great. I'm feeling fine on cloud nine. Who loves the Temptations? Because I know I do. I love old school songs. So look at these boxes. Aren't these just beautiful? So this one actually says drill storage. This one, it's a, you can write whatever you want on there. Just slide it up and write it on there. But yeah, so I thought these boxes would automatically come with those cards that I ordered and they didn't. So when I get inside of here, Oh, look, she included a cover minder. Her name is Erin. So basically when I realized I ordered the wrong product, oh, look at this, this is so cute. It's a cover minder, I love it. Thank you, Erin. I don't know what this is. It says that it's lavender. Let me open it up and see. Oh, this is scented lavender. I have to ask her what this is for because to be honest with you, I don't know. It just says do not eat. So I most certainly will not eat it. Maybe you could put it in the box with your stuff and it makes your drill smell all lavendery. Is that a word? Lavendery? So yes, yeah, so hold on, I got this box. Guys, I'm kind of opening it. Let me zoom out some so you could better see what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm in my daughter's room and you'll see her toys around. Okay, so and these come with two dividers you could put it right here and right here so that's one and then I'm gonna move this over so not only does this come with the dividers <coughs> excuse me but hold on, let's put these in here and this also comes with these cards to separate them out further so like in here i can put the 100s right here and then the 200s right here and so on and so forth so once i got that in there i'd probably do that guys okay so i was born left-handed and i do everything from left to right so if you notice instead of me going I mean, I do everything right to left. So I'm putting 100, 200, 300 instead of over here, 100, 200, 300. So I need to move it because other people read this way and not my way. So hold on. I'm going to put these in just in here just to establish the space, the spacing. So yes, so this is where you can put your additional AB store. So what's interesting is... I honestly know that right now I won't need this additional box because I don't have that many drills saved yet. I really don't have many saved at all yet because I haven't completed enough diamond paintings to have enough saved yet. So let me see. I'm going to put this back here because it's a 3,800, 37, 36, 33. 3000 okay so we'll keep these over here guys I'm doing horrible at this if you could tell 
once I get them in there, hopefully it'll help make some more sense. So there's usually a lot of nines, not as many eights. Let me get my 100 and 200 back up. It usually can be a decent amount of sevens, sixes. And then I'll put the fives over here because there's rarely any fives, barely any fours. Um, the most common three I see is 310. So, I hope I'm doing this right, y'all, because I feel like I'm doing a shitty job. That's going to be my word for today, shitty. How are you doing? A shitty job. <laughs> Excuse my language, y'all. Sorry if I offended anybody. I know not, not everybody is a fan of people who curse. I remember when I was at one of my previous jobs, there was a girl was like, cursing makes you look like such a nasty person and I would never use those words and yada yada, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to her like, it's just a word. But you know, a lot of people put meaning behind words and they can be hurtful. So yeah, so if I could figure out how to do this. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how I can organize some of my drills in here. For instance, we can do the one that I have in the craftably black bag. I believe this is probably the craftably one that I finished. Um, I think it was called, uh, what was it called? <laughs> Hold on guys, let me look at my done picture so I could tell you. Let me go to my gems flow because I was going to try to be all organized and say, yeah, these were the drills left over from, and then my mind went blank. So if you don't have gems flow, you need to go to your app store and download it because it is great. Okay, getting to the bottom. So what have I completed from Craftably? Okay, I completed Faces of Fairy. 111 from craftably so i believe these were the leftover drills from it so really all you do is follow suit you take your eights you're going to put it right here because this is where your eights are and then this is where the 800 number is and then of course what is this the six my sixes are right here i'll put them behind here i'm gonna move this up some I have to see what I'm doing wrong for these to not stick in as tightly as I thought they would. So yes, I put a six in there. And then we got 322. So that's a three. 321, another three. 938, here are the nines back here. 310, another 3, 803, I'll put it back here with the 800s, yeah, see I have to go through this and figure out how to make it stand better because I don't know what I am or am not doing, but yeah guys, this is a storage, I'll list the Etsy information down below, her name on there is the Flossom Crafter. And her actual name is Erin. And uh, I got to know that because I reached out when I said, hey, I ended up getting the, oh my gosh, you guys, I am a dork. Why am I a dork? Because <laughs> look at this. Those are the dividers. But the reason why they are dividers is because there are these these are the colors that go in there so you can actually put each individual color divided so like okay now it's making more sense this is going to fill it up more so these are my 800s I'm going to put them back here with the 800s okay now I see where it's going to fill up more so now I see where I may need the two boxes so those are my eights. These are all of my nines. 
So hold on, I think I might have put a nine in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the drills out until I actually get these better set up. Okay. So here are my nines. Eek! Come on, Kimberly, get it right. Um, if you don't know, I'm constantly talking to myself, talking myself through stuff to when I'm trying to figure it out. So in my videos, you might hear me talk to myself and be like, what are you doing, Kim? What the hell are you doing? My six-year-old thinks that's so funny that I don't say what the hell. I say, what the hell? And she's all, why do you say hell? And then when I curse, why are you cursing, mommy? But then when I don't curse, why are you using that word? I'm like, do you want me to curse? Or you want me not to curse, kid? Make your mind up. Okay, so these are the non-number colors. And so I'm going to put these before the 100s. And then my ones, 169, okay. Here are my ones. I don't think, I, yeah, I didn't have no one colors in there. My twos, these are my twos. I'm gonna put these behind the twos and scoot them up. Yeah, these are my twos. And then my threes. Move this forward, and I know I put a lot of threes in there. I'm gonna take these out because it actually lets you divide it not only by like the number, like 300, 200, 100, it further divides it individually by each color, and it has the color swatch on there so you have an idea of what you're looking at. So, since I've been diamond painting more, you guys, I think I have figured out my favorite DP color and when I get to it I'm gonna thumb through it so I can show it to you okay so those are my fives this is just to set it up um, to get these in here and then I'll further go in and detail it later I know this video is all over the place but I wanted to just do the unboxing from the start with y'all and then just kind of take it from there Oh, I don't have the eights in there yet. Okay. Or do I have? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, these are trying to fall, so I need to. Okay. And then. Here go my sixes. And then my sevens. What are these? My eights that fell over. Okay. So these are my sevens these down here okay so guys my favorite color is an 800 and I must show it to you because I've been diamond painting with it recently okay it is this 820 it is a beautiful beautiful blue and every time I pull it out I just keep saying I really love this color so those are the eights let's see no numbers in there and then here are the nines and then we get to the 3000s. So it starts with, hold on, 3011. We'll put these here. Guys, am I doing this right? Am I supposed to be putting this behind them or in front of them? Like if I put the 3000s here, then would it go right here because it's in front of it? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. This is crazy. So the thing about it is you can put these out there however you want to. I just don't know how to. So I'm going to have to figure that out as I go along. So there's the 3000s and then you got your 3300s. I'm going to put it in front right here with this up behind it. And then we have our 3600s. So what I usually encounter are that there are a lot of 3,000 colors whenever I'm doing a division. So I'm going to put this right here, and then I'm going to slide this up over here. This are 36s. Here are my 37s. So we're going to put it in front. So if you tab to just this, okay, 
and then 38. Okay, and then this is the 3800s, all of them in their glory. So yes, guys, um, so this is from the Flossom Crafter. So now what I would do, say for instance, this is 666. So I would go to my sixes. I would find color number 666, which I think is a beautiful red. And then there you go. So there's the 666. And I'm going to have to figure out if I'm going to put the colors in front of it. Probably so. Because when you open it up, we'll figure it out. But yes, guys, I got this storage from the Flossom Crafter. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to actually order the boxes um, because then they come with these cards automatically, but you're not required to. If you already have your own box storage system, then all you can get are these. So you can divide them up by like individual color. And so, um, like I said, I'll put the information down in the description. Um, I do have to share that I will be going live with Crafting with Shay. It'll be Sunday the 22nd at 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, I will link her YouTube channel down below. And um, what else was I going to share? Oh, I'm, I'm hosting my favorite. Oh, we're going to talk about mental health. So I have a lot of good pointers and tips and resources that I'm going to be sharing. And then, of course, we're just going to have it as a regular conversation as well. So, yes. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, the other thing is I'm hosting my first ever diamond paint along. It's going to be September 30th to September 1st. And then um, it's going to be called your mental health matters it's going to be hashtag you matter i already have four sponsors lined up i heard from another one today and then um i have at least one guest speaker for now uh, but it's eight months away so i have a lot of time to um, get some other ones i'm trying to see if i can get uh uh either a doctor or nurse or physician's assistant to come in and talk about the importance of mental health in their field and what they deal with as well. So um, I'm going to do weekly giveaways. I'm trying to debate whether I'm going to do a grand prize giveaway, but I know we're going to definitely do weekly. Weekly It's going to be open to, um, what do you call it? It's going to be open to international. My apologies. I even have a friend in Canada that will sponsor whatever the Canada winner gets. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of good things planned. Um, thank you for anyone that's sponsoring me. Thank you for anybody that's watching and supporting my channel. Um, even if you're not supporting my channel, thank you for just watching. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll get a notification when I post a video. Um, and I would like for everybody to participate in this group in this group and this giveaway and not in the giveaway and the oh lord i can't talk i'm getting too excited when i get too excited i can't get my words together i'd like for everybody to participate in this diamond paint along um whether you deal with mental health or whether you have dealt with somebody with mental health because it impacts everyone around you so if you're dealing with mental health anybody that's around you is going to have be impacted in some way shape or form so I would like for everybody to participate in this diamond painting along and know that it's not just open to people who deal with mental health. I'd like for it to be open with everybody because we're going to talk about how it impacts everybody and how important it is because I want to help get rid of the stigma that's attached to mental health. So yeah, so this video got to be way longer than I thought it would be. I get excited when I talk about things I'm passionate about and I'm passionate about mental health. And so I am here to tell you that you are loved, you are worthy, you are enough, and you are beautiful. And if no one's told you they love you today, I love you, sending you a heart.